hello guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be talking about this full-time mbm program in washington dc this is a full-time program that is fully funded with an additional stipend for your living expenses i'm going to take you through the website show you everything that you need to know so you can apply application deadline is the 15th of march so you still have some time you still have like six to eight weeks to prepare and apply for this mba program it's open to international students and there is no application fee there is also no need for tofu or ice so this video i'm going to take you to that website and show you everything that you need to know so that you can apply today before i do that my name is winnie shom and yeah on my channel i make videos about studying in the us i make videos on scholarships all the best programs and you'll be happy to be part of this channel please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you can get notified anytime i upload a new video this is the website of this full-time mba as you can see on my screen it says all in business school full-time mba so this program is for international students and what they are offering to u.s citizens they are also offering it to international students so i want us to first of all look at the requirements what do you need to apply for this program so we are going to click admissions and it's going to take us to this page where we have all the information that we need the test scores and everything now let's start it says transform your career with a truly global mba so this mba is full-time and it's for everyone like i've said before so it says admission to the only mba program is competitive each applicant is carefully considered by the only admissions committee using both objective and subjective criteria and there is no formula used to arrive at a decision so if you have a background that you think can fit into an mba then this opportunity is for you they have listed here everything that they need in order for you to apply now test requirements you don't need TOEFL we are going to get into that but what I want us to look at here is the application fee it says there is no application fee for the full-time MBA program at Olin so there is no application fee so you can actually start your application process today without paying anything so now we have the application deadline so we have round one has passed round two has passed we are now in the round three phase which is uh, from january 11th just that a few days ago i'm making this video on january 21st and to march 2nd so this is where you need to apply but you still have round four but start application now so that you can uh, start in the fall so i think for international students it will be round three because you need time to process your visa and most times when when you get admitted you need to take like two to three months to apply and go through the visa application process so you you will actually go with round three so now let's look at the requirements to apply so let's click apply and see everything that we need to do so we have it says google chrome is the preferred browser for wash you all in application so now what are the requirements the first thing is one page resume you know mba is a professional program so you need to have at least a background you need to have worked in in business so if you have like a degree in business you've been working in 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 a, in a in a corporation where you are dealing with business stuff this is the right program for you next thing you need to consider is essay two required essays so one is optional but if you really want to be considered you should write the two essays so that you can be Consider so the first one is to share with us one of your strongest values So this is an opportunity for you to sell yourself and then the second one is is there anything else you would like to share? So is there anything that you would like the people of the or the recruiters or those who will be going through your application to know about you? You have the opportunity to write two aces So, so they actually give you the time to to convince them to accept you and this is something that most people can do very well so the third the third thing to consider is a standardized test score you need a test call so you also need transcript which is unofficial good because most universities require you to 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 
certify them, but they don't require you to certify them, which is good. And then you're going to do an application video. They want to hear how you speak, your English, everything, and how you can express yourself. Since these MBAs are very, very highly effective when it comes to looking for a job. So doing an MBA in the US is like setting up yourself for immediate success. So you want to take opportunity of this situation and make a very good video where you really present yourself in a way that will convince the jury to, you know, accept you for this program. And one professional recommendation, you must have a work back background. I think it's recommended for you to have worked in the business field before. So you, you, you need a recommendation letter either for your boss or whoever you worked with while you were working and there is no application fee. So the next thing we need to look at, look at now are the scores. So it says that you need TOEFL scores. Actually, you do not need TOEFL scores if the following applies to you. For example, all international applicants whose native language is not English must take their TOEFL. But it says, do I qualify for a waiver? But you can, your, your English uh, language uh, test scores can be waived if you, if you are from the following countries, you do not need to submit English proficiency. Australia, Cameroon, I'm from Cameroon. So if you are applying from Cameroon, you do not need TOEFL, Ghana, India. So all of these countries do not need TOEFL to apply to this MBA. So it says you may also qualify for a waiver if you have taken a minimum of three consecutive years of coursework at a college or university located in one of the above countries. So if you've taken a, a three years of college in English in from these above countries, then you do not need TOEFL. So check out is your country here. Yeah? If it's there, you do not need TOEFL. If it's not there, then you need TOEFL. The admissions committee reserves the right to ask for an for an English proficiency test course if deemed necessary. If you believe you are eligible for a waiver, do not submit your TOEFL or test score. So if you believe that you should not have to submit it, then do not submit it. So you will be considered as long as you can prove that you've studied three years, you know, in English and you don't need TOEFL. So this is a good thing because most of these countries listed here will, will not have to to present TOEFL, which is good. And then he, the, another thing that you need to consider before you start the application process is official test scores for G, GMAT and GRE. So that is needed. So they have put all the accepted grades here. So you have to have these grades before you can apply. There is interview, invitation only interviews are conducted at the discretions of the admissions committee. So they will interview you as well. So this is a very rigorous admission process. And this is because MBAs are, are known to sell. If you have an MBA, especially here in the US, oh my goodness, you're going to be in the six figures. You'll be earning a lot of money. So that's why they take their time to really make sure that they get the best, especially if you're going to have full funding. They want to make sure that those that are having this, this opportunity, that are being given this opportunity, deserve it. And the last thing you have to do, well, you will need an application interview video. Applicants to the full-time MBA program must submit a video interview as part of the application process. Once you enter your rec recommender in the, so this is just like the information on, on how you're going to go through the application interview video. Now guys, the last thing I want to show you, which is the most important is the scholarship. Now remember that this program is fully funded, but it, they can also give you partial scholarship, but it's fully funded as well. So it says all candidates admitted to all in are automatically considered for a merit based Dean scholarship. There is no separate application. So once you apply, you are considered for a scholarship automatically. So, and what can cover partial or full scholarship or full tuition. So this scholarship will cover your tuition. And let me tell you guys, this program is running into the hundreds. So to have this opportunity will be a great thing for you. Our admissions committee will review your application to determine eligibility and notify you at the end of, and notify you at the time of admission. In addition, in addition, we offer access to the following scholarship and fellowships as well. So apart from this automatic scholarship, they also have scholarships that you can apply for to take care of all the expenses that will come up while you're studying. This is another scholarship and this one, this another scholarship that 
you will receive up to $25,000 that will be used as stipend, but it's annual. An effort to increase inter international diversity, this scholarship awards full tuition scholarships to international students who have graduated from specific universities outside the United States. So this is particularly for students who have graduated or after outside the united states so you're going to have full tuition scholarship which means that they'll pay all of your tuition for this program and they'll also award you a twenty-five thousand stipend annual stipend which means every year they'll give you twenty-five thousand. is this not great and then you have like other scholarships you can apply for to help you in your expenses while studying at washington university in st louis so guys I am going to put the link to this website in the description box below. So come here, go through all of these and start your application process today. Applications for international students will be from 11th of January to the end of March. So you want to start application process today so that you can meet up with a deadline. So guys, this was what I had for you today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any idea of a video that you want me to do about school in the USA scholarships, please let me know. I'm going to start doing my research and I'm going to make a video about it. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time in my next video. Bye-bye.